In this video, I speak about a substance that has been described as pure, white and deadly. It's also been described as a toxin. As a nation and as a world, we eat far too much of it. If you gave up this one substance today, it would increase your health and chances of living a longer life dramatically. I'll see you on the other side. Hi, I'm a great advocate for a ketogenic low carb diet. As a result of being on that diet, I've had to give up something that has been called pure, white and deadly. And that pure, white and deadly substance is sugar. And my health has benefited so much from giving up sugar in the foods I eat. It was a British professor called John Yudkin way back in 1972 who spoke about how sugar was bad for us. Unfortunately, it was in a time when saturated fat was being seen as the villain and the people behind this movement were so big that John Yudkin's ideas was vilified and condemned and he could not get the message out in the way that he wanted to. Even though that movement is increasing now and people are getting the message more and more. There was another professor called Robert Ludstein and he described sugar as a toxin. In fact, if you go to YouTube and you Google the bitter truth, you will see the video where Robert Ludstein talks about how sugar is a toxin. I advise you to take some time out and watch that video. But it can be incredibly difficult to know what you're eating, especially when you're buying food, because there are so many different names for sugar. In fact, there are 56 different names for sugar, glucose, maltose, uh, sucrose, even fruit juice. When you see fruit juice on the back of something, that's actually sugar. So it can be easy to buy something and not know that you are actually consuming sugar or the amount of sugar in what you are eating. This is why I advocate learning about the names of sugar, but also learning to read a label. When you go shopping, just take some time to look at the back of the label and see exactly how much sugar is in the product that you're buying. This will go a long way in helping you reduce your sugar intake. I have a question for you. What does a banana, Coke, pasta, bread, rice, and fruit juice have in common? Here I'll tell you, they are all forms of carbohydrates. In essence, they are all forms of sugar. Yes, whenever you eat any of these or drink any of these, you are ingesting sugar. You don't think so, do you? When you eat a bowl of rice, you don't think, well, I'm eating a bowl of sugar. But in essence, you are. It's actually adding to the amount of sugar you eat throughout the day. I'll just show you some numbers here. For men, uh, the recommended daily amount of sugar intake is nine teaspoons, and that is 36 grams. I think even that's high, but that is the recommended daily intake. For women, it's six tablespoons and 25 grams of sugar. That is the recommended daily intake of sugar, which they say is safe. I still think those figures are a little bit high, but you can see how easy it can be to go above these recommended daily allowances. Let me just give you some examples. Coke, we all know how much sugar is in Coke, but look, if the recommended daily intake is 36 for men and 25 for women, there are 39 grams of, of sugar in a tin of Coke. I have never liked Coke. I've always tried to avoid it like the plague. So coming from Jamaica, I thought, well, let me drink ginger beer because old ginger beer is a favorite of mine until I realized how much sugar was in a can of old ginger beer. There were 52 grams of sugar in a can of old ginger beer. That's even more than Coke. Amazing. And I didn't know that until I started doing my research. But there is some people who don't like water, so I see them often drinking um, Volvic. They see it as water and slightly flavored, so they think, okay, that's okay to drink. But look, 
in a small bottle of velvet lemon water. There are 14 grams of sugar in one of those small bottles. And you can clearly see, I could go on and on, you can clearly see how it can be easily done, how you can easily go over the daily recommended limit and easily eat loads of sugar throughout the day without realizing it. Be sugar wise. Understand that sugar is a toxin. Sugar leads to obesity. Sugar leads to diabetes and a number of illnesses. As I said in the beginning, if there's one thing you can do today, and that is to dramatically reduce your sugar intake, you will see the results and the benefits in your overall health and well-being in a very, very short time. I'll be doing some more videos on sugar and what it does to you in the future. But for now, what I'd like to say to you, as I always like to say to you, is remember, make health your habit. Bye for now.